Welcome, happy holidays. Welcome to Silky's Kitchen. I haven't been on in a while, but you guys, I thought I'd get on and show you guys how to make one of my chilies, just straight chili meat. And I have crackers. Chili and crackers. See my crackers on the stove, y'all. Can you see them? There you go. Wait a minute. I'm videoing myself, so just excuse me. Okay. Well, you guys, I'm going to show you what I have here. I have some ground turkey here, and I like to, you know, smash it up. I don't like that, you know, stringy stuff. And then I have some cut up uh, beef smoked sausage here. I have onions. I have onions right here. I have yellow bell peppers, green bell peppers, spinach, it's really cut up really fine. And I have garlic, chili powder, L'Oreal seasoning, garlic powder, and I have stewed tomatoes. I actually have two cans. I was opening the can right here. A big can of tomato sauce, a chili pack, and I think that's just about it. So what I'm gonna do now, you guys, is I'm gonna marinate my meat. Let me put this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I have some pepper right here and some um, pink salt here, you guys pink salt, and black pepper. So, let's get this party started. First, I'm going to get, let me turn this back thing off. Well, what I'm going to do is start my meat, too, you guys. So, let's put this over here so you guys can see, okay, what I'm doing here. So, we're going to get some I'm gonna get some oil and put it in that pan. You're always supposed to put a little oil in with the ground turkey, you guys, because ground, ground turkey is a white meat and it don't have that much fat in it, so it's not gonna develop no grease for you. So that, therefore, you have to put your own grease. I'm putting it on these gloves because I'm gonna mix my meat up, you guys. I don't like it stringy, and it was still frozen. And you see how pink this ground turkey is? Ground turkey is good for you, all white meat. Dropped a little piece on the floor, but that's okay. That's all frozen. I took it out this morning, ran to the grocery store, and got a few more things from the grocery store, you guys. So one thawed out and one didn't. So, I'm trying to get that smashed up a little bit. And then I'm going to throw the rest in. And that's two packs of this Dimmy O brown turkey, you guys. That is two packs, okay? So, the bottom part is all smashed up. I like it to be smashed, looking like hamburger meat. So, I'm going to go ahead and take my gloves off now. Um, let me get this and put it in the front. I'm putting in some pepper. And you guys, pink salt is really good. Putting a lot of that in there because it's gonna give us some good flavor. It's really good for you, okay? Now, let's get something here. And now we're going to get our skillet here and turn that down some. And we're going to incorporate um, some butter, a little bit of butter, you guys. Put that in the pan. Okay, 
and we're gonna put in, this is like uh, a small whole onion. We're gonna throw it in that butter and let it cook for about five minutes. Okay, and then we're gonna take the garlic and put that in. And this is like three cloves of garlic, garlic you guys. Okay, so we're going to let that cook for about five minutes. And I'm going to push my meat around. So you guys, I'm making some chili here. And that is what I'm making. Homemade chili. If you don't know how to make it with ground turkey, I'm showing you how to make it. It really gives it flavor. And what really gives it flavor is the stewed tomatoes. Stewed tomatoes is good in spaghettis. Um... Um, chili um, is good in tacos because the tomatoes stay juicy and everything stays juicy. It keeps your food from drying out. So we got them lovely. That smells so good. Garlic and onion smell good together. Now we're going to incorporate our yellow um, bell pepper. We're going to put that in and let that soften up. Chili really tastes good with a lot of seasonings in it. Yes, it does. So, we're letting that all cook together. And when you cook your um, ground turkey, you don't have to strain it. You don't have no grease. All the grease I put in it is what's giving it flavor. And you don't have to strain that meat. That's the good thing about ground turkey. A lot of people say they don't like it because they're so used to eating hamburger meat. But ground turkey is really, really good for you. Okay, we got all that. Look at that. Don't that look great? All of that is going in my chili, you guys. I have the spinach. Spinach uh, absorbed fast. So you don't have to put spinach in right away. Um, so I'm just getting this meat together. So now, you don't necessarily have to put your seasoning in all at once. So now I'm gonna put in some lovely garlic powder in our, some garlic powder in that meat, okay? So, when your meat get done, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, and it's going to put this whole chili thing together for you guys. So, let's keep stirring our seasoning right here. Okay, and then our next component is going to be the sausage, you guys. And so we're going to get them done and put them in. That meat is almost done. It's looking great. And it's smelling really good. So now, we're going to take all of our seasoning, you guys. And we're going to... Throw it in here as soon as this meat stop looking pinkish and looking nice and done. And the little juices that I see in there, you guys, it's gonna give that chili and that meat some great flavor. And don't you like some nice chunks in your chili? I do. So I'm gonna leave it nice and chunky. And while that's cooking, this is really smelling great. I'm going to throw some seasonings on there. And a little pink salt to work up the flavors. Now, I like putting season on after you cook the food. Because you can really taste it. It's still sitting there. And it's 
tasting, making your food taste really great. So now we're going to put in our seasoning, you guys. So we're going to put that in. And make sure we get all of that. Okay. Now with the same pot, I'm going to put in some oil. Just a little bit. And we're going to throw in our sausages. It's just a few. And we're going to turn the heat up and let that cook. And while that's cooking, I'm going to be gathering up all of this goodnesses together in that lovely chili meat I am gathering up. So now, you guys, I gathered up all of the seasonings and put them in there. Okay? So now what we're going to do, I'm going to turn that that way. Because we're going to get our chili pack. This here, just one pack. This is uh, mild, it's not hot. And we're going to put that whole pack in and stir that all in that meat. All in there. And get that all stirred up in your meat. Just like that. And the meat is starting to get a another color to it which is looking great that meat is looking really good you guys so then when we stir all that in we're going to put in a can of stewed tomatoes you guys i'm going to put the fried stuff on the back i'm going to put some tomatoes all in there. Yeah, we're gonna rotate. Let's turn that down. So, you guys, it's looking nice and red. Let's see the tomato bits in there. That's the first part of making your roux, okay? So, watch and learn. Watch and learn. So, Now, we're going to get, I have a big can of tomato sauce. It depends on how much chili you're making, but I'm going to pour in half of it for right now and stir that in. And now, my chili is looking really red. I'm looking good, but I'm missing some components, you guys. I'm trying to hurry up and get finished with this video, but I always taste it before I put the chili in. So let me give it a taste. Mm -hmm. um, okay. It needs a little more salt, you guys. So now I'm going to put it in. I taste a little heat though from the chili in the pack. So now I want to put in some chili, you guys. And this might be a tablespoon right there. I'm going to mix that in. And then I'm going to get some water. So we're going to put a can of water, but I just like to pour a little bit at the time, you guys. I don't want to overdo whatever I'm doing. So my sausages are nice and crispy. I like them like that. So, I'm going to put them to the side so they can go. Some seconds, you guys. Mm. 
Okay. So that's really looking good. Now we're gonna I have to keep tasting you guys. See how much chili. So now we need a little more salt. Get some laurel in there. Some more chili powder. Okay, and then I have to see, these are a little too big. So we're not gonna put these in. I wanna cut them and put them in just one second, you guys. This won't take but a minute. I really didn't need that much of the tomatoes, so. This will definitely, definitely be enough. And chop till in there. Okay. Now we're going to pour some more tomato sauce in. You know? And that really gives it a rich, good flavor. Now I'm going to taste it again. Mmm. That's some good chili, y'all. I think it needs a little more heat, a little more pepper. It would be great. The rest of that garlic can go in there. And we have ourselves some meaty chili. So, this is the last ingredient, you guys. This is the spinach. Okay. So. This is my homemade chili, you guys. Doesn't it look great? And so, my last ingredient. Oh, you guys, I forgot. The sausages. Mmm. Can't stop eating now, y'all. Mm. So, let me go ahead and put a little bit in a bowl and show you guys just how it looks. This is some nice hearty chili that I made from home from scratch. Thanks for watching my video. Share and show you care. <laughs> and give yourself some Christmas love or your husband or somebody. So I'm gonna make them some little homemade chili that's really good for you. No grease involved, you guys. With turkey meat. So, I'm going to give it a try. And you know what, too, you guys? You can deconstruct it and do all other kinds of stuff with it the next day, like make enchiladas, tacos. It'll taste good with some cheese on it. Just, I just wanted to show you guys something to make on a nice cold day like today. Mmm. Bye.